What's up, everybody? It's Strange Flow from Basedelic.com, and today I want to do a juke beat. And uh, so now juke comes out of well, okay, it comes from Chicago. It's a dance music. Uh, you see people doing footwork dance into it. If you if you don't know what footwork dancing is, you should really really look it up. It's it's crazy. They dance. It's it's really cool, and um, uh, I recommend looking up as much as you can about juke music too, and, and also Ghetto House because that's really one of the main influences of it. And you know, Chicago. It comes from Chicago, and it's uh, I mean, juke comes from Chicago, and it, Chicago has a long history of house music. They created house music, so that's something you got to keep in mind, I think. Um, but okay, let's get started. So I'm just saying, you know. Really inundate yourself as much as you can with this style if you're gonna try to make a beat in this style, because otherwise you might not, you know, quite get it. And I'm doing it with a with Acid Pro, but you know you can do it with actual drum machines like 808s, especially. Um, but this is the way to cheat and do it with a computer. So, you know, some people might say it's not gonna sound right no matter what I do because I'm using a computer. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I guess <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Um, but okay, here's it's it's 100. Well, this is 154 beats per minute. This this track, but I mean, you know, it's up tempo. It's like 150, maybe 160, somewhere in that range. You can um, figure out what sounds good. And uh, here, okay, here's the basic beat I got so far. That's just one rhythm. I want to, you know, point that out again. This is just one way to do it. I don't want people to think this is like the, the only way. There's like a, a thousand different variations and different ways you can do a lot with this style, actually. Um, so what I want to do first is, well, get rid of all this shit that I should have deleted a minute ago. Um, okay, so what we got here, I'll break all this down. This, you know, this is a cymbal, obviously. Uh, this is a rim shot. 808 rim shot. Uh, this is the 808 kick. And then uh, just a hi hat. Just a little bit of 808. Oh no, it's not 808, sorry. TR666, it's an old one. I think from the 70s. I don't, <laughs> that's, that's the cool thing about using computers. You can use different drum machines, but of course they're not as authentic because you're not actually using them you're just using the samples of them but anyway that's a little clav and this of course uh, majestic cowbell incredible uh, what else oh here's a 808 snare put a little bit of reverb on it um, is that everything can I mention everything oh well okay yeah here's the clav Everyone loves the clap. Okay, so, um, yeah. Let's start out with the, uh, with the bass. Okay. Now, um, it's faster, and I want to show some to you. First of all, let's just start out with this. Oops. Just like, you know, 16 bass kicks. Okay. That's uh, kind of the speed of it, but it it gets tangled up. It gets really, it shuffles out. You know, it's like I said, it's made for footwork dancing. Which, if you again, if you haven't seen it, you got to go look up footwork dancing. And it's it's crazy how they're dancing. I, I wish I could do that. I'm not in nearly the shape that I need to be in. But it's it goes really crazy, and it's just really masterful. Um, something that they do a lot of the time in juke music that's made, made a lot of the time for footwork dancing is a like they'll double up you know like this i mean basic but like uh, one thing i've seen a lot of <clears throat> is like doing this you know it uh creates like a, almost like a swing it, it makes things seem just a lot faster it's uh Almost like quadrupling up, you know. This would be quadrupling up, and and you might see that sometimes. But you just take one of these notes and uh, place it here, right before the next kick drum, and it just has this uh, really.
really unique sound to it. Um, so let's make a some drum rhythm. I like using this. Dun, dun, dun. I love that sound. I really got into that sound. <laughs> I'm a fan. Um, you can double up too. Like that. I mean, you can do whatever, you know, it's not. But it's. Uh, okay. And then um, you might want to use an 808 hat. You might want to use whatever, but. Um, what did I do? Um, now maybe put one here, align it to this, uh, like I said, the, the quick note right before the long bass kick. Do the same thing with the, the hi-hat or with any other sound. Yeah, see? It still creates that kind of jukey kind of shuffle. Um, doing that on the every other bass kick you know and then doing the doing that right there Maybe double it up um all right, this this uh, rim shot. I really like, really like this sound. I know these should all be at zero. I I'm doing this wrong. These should all be at zero. I just uh, I don't know. Comfortable doing it this way, but I guess that's technically you should have these all at zero and then adjust the volume here. Acid Pro, it's still a great sequence there. People talk shit about it, but it's better than Ableton's. I it is. <laughs> Splash it up. And uh, what was this sound? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I didn't mention these. Uh, these little uh, marimbos, they're not marimbos, congas, that's the word. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste this section right here. I like the sound of that. They just add they just add uh, some color to it, you know. They add a, a splash of color, spice it up a little bit, you know. You can do different things with them, obviously. Um, let's see, what was the other clip? You hear that? Um, I usually I feel like it's more subtle usually, but you can do what you want with that um, to again spice it up a little bit. I don't have it very loud here because I don't want it to dominate. Make it a little louder.
the sound of that. All right, that's uh, sounding pretty good so far. And oh, I didn't add this majestic fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can. Obviously, that splashes a lot of color onto a lot of. Um, I don't know. this was 808 it was pretty much timed up to the clap I believe um, you could do that again it's all about what you think sounds good so I'm gonna line it up to the clap but have it uh, stutter out a little bit more or like uh, go a little crazier than the clap does What we could also do here, really quickly, just to put this in here, give you a sense of, you could have the intro, again, you can do what you want, you can change it up, but I, you know, I want to take out the clap, and this 808, and then the, well, not the cowbell, actually, keep a little bit of the melody in there, but just, uh, don't have the hi-hat, I'm going to not have the hi-hat come in until near the end of this intro here. This being the intro, this whole thing. All right. Um, so it's kind of the intro here, and then the breakdown, but. This exact combination of sounds. I mean, this is just one way. I want to keep in mind. I want to point that out again. It's just one way to do it. There's different ways to do it. Um, you know, create lots of variations and, and listen to as many juke beats as you can to get a sense of this thing. Internalize the sound. You know, as much as you can. Listen to Ghetto House so you understand where it's coming from and house music and hip hop. And so yeah, I hope this was at least a little bit helpful. Um, if uh, I, you know, I got more tutorials on on basedelic.com. I'm doing a lot of them now, and uh, you know, any questions or suggestions or comments or anything, just leave a comment or hit me up on my website or or whatever you want to do. And um, yeah, have fun, have fun making juke.